cooking without humans is no longer just a distant dream. Have you ever wondered if the future of gourmet delights lies in the hands of machines or humans? Let's explore this culinary conundrum together. Join us on how it's manufactured as we unveil the secrets behind these culinary marvels. Let's take a closer look at the process of making macarons. Initially, the different halves are dipped in a food coloring bath, acquiring their distinctive bright colors. Once colored, these halves are systematically placed onto slots on a conveyor belt. The next step involves the filling. One side of each macaron half is carefully filled. Finally, the top half is accurately aligned and placed on top to complete the macaron. Check out this panini processing line. The panini bread is pressed between a conveyor above to give its distinctive flat shape. The panini is then cut by a special blade, which makes a perfect cut and keeps the two halves connected while also flipping the bread upside down. Next, butter is spread evenly on one side, Ham and other fillings are added by hand. Finally, the two halves are folded. Dough is extruded from the machine into a star-like shape. It's then cut into predefined lengths by a small wire. The machine knows the exact amount that can fit on a tray. I don't know about you, but I find this process is oddly satisfying. Speaking of satisfying, be amazed by this machine, the Cake-O-Matic. A special arm spreads an even amount of frosting on each layer of cake. The Cake-O-Matic can also ice both the top and sides of a cake at once. Mmm, I love chocolate cake. I could watch this all day. I find this bell pepper coring and dividing machine fascinating. A worker places bell peppers into slots in the machine, stem downwards. Specially designed coring blades remove the core and stem. The cores are then moved away via conveyor and become animal feed. The halves of the bell peppers are then dropped into containers for further processing and packaging. I can never get sick of a good croissant, and this machine can make a seemingly endless supply of them. The dough is moved between rollers to make it the correct thickness. It's then folded on top of itself. The dough is layered in a zigzag pattern to give the distinctive fluffy layered texture. Flour is sprinkled on to prevent the dough from sticking together during the next process. More machines continue to layer the dough. The dough is cut into triangle shapes. The dough then passes under special chains which roll it into a tight cylinder. Now the impressive part. Robot arms take the dough and form it into the classic croissant shape. Dipping delectable donuts. Try say that five times in a row. That's what this machine does all day. Well, it doesn't say anything, but you get what I mean.
How do you cut a large piece of meat like this into many slices? Like this, of course. Many thin wires cut through the meat with the help of vibration. Meet Pazzi, the world's first autonomous pizza robot. Pazzi can make 80 pizzas an hour, baking many at a time. Customers order on a touch screen and the order is sent directly to Pazzi. Pazzi then starts by preparing the pizza dough base by placing it under a press. Tomato sauce is then applied and spread to evenly cover the base. The toppings are added and then it's baked. Once it's fully baked, it's removed from the oven and placed in a box, cut into slices and delivered to the customer. Observe the incredible precision and agility of this sausage packing robot. It's able to identify the curvature of sausages and line them up with the same curve in their packaging. It uses a combination of computer vision, robotics, and pneumatics. I find it quite mesmerizing. Many sausage varieties and shapes can be sorted. Back to amazing robot arms. This one twists pretzel dough into its iconic shapes. It can even create pretzel knots. This is super impressive. Have you ever wondered how some of your favorite chocolate-coated nuts and candy gets that chocolate coating? Well, wonder no more. You can also use a candy coating made famous by various brands. The precision of this raclette cheese machine is next level. This robot arm makes repeatable balls of dough. It's able to roll the balls with high precision. This burger machine is able to produce accurately portioned burgers. This easy flouring onion cutter is quite popular in steakhouses and restaurants. It uses multiple blades to cut the onion evenly. The onion is then battered and fried, turning it into a great centerpiece for a table and a delicious snack at the same time. There you have it, 
some pretty incredible food industry machines. Let us know in the comments which was your favorite. Make sure you check out our other videos and remember to subscribe if you want to see more of our future videos.